Well, hello there. I'm Diana Falzone, and this is 4 for 4. Four opinions on four entertainment headlines in just four minutes. Prince Harry got snapped staring at Lady Gaga's assets on a red carpet. Chris, when dresses go that low, is it fair to ask guys to keep their eyes up here? Well, I do <laughs> think it is not fair <laughs> to the guys with, when women wear some of these dresses because we used to have a slideshow and we started, it was called How Low Do You Go? Can They Go? And it started oh, right here. Great. And then a year later, they were all the way down. Thanks to And we had to stop the slideshow because it was getting too risque. So I don't think it was Harry's fault. I appreciate it. was her you fault. Looking up at the ceiling. <laughs> really? For the majority of that. <laughs> uh, I am on Team Harry here because. The paparazzi snap about a million pictures a second in situations like that. And if you just look down for a split second when you're about to raise your head up and look at something else, so you're it avoiding will the look. question. You're avoiding the question. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just it looks bad, but he no, didn't do it. I'm with Carly. I'm with Carly. The first thing I thought when I saw this picture was, oh no, maybe he was like, oh, I don't want to step on your toe, or even yeah. looking. I hope so. she's not having a wardrobe malfunction. But this is what it's going to appear to everyone. What else? I think you I love these analysts here all vying to be the next princess because you're not seeing things. He's charming. <laughs> yes. All right, all right, all right. Several comedians said they won't play colleges because of the politically correct climate of many campuses. Carly, are the PC police killing comedy? Yes, and it's going even beyond comedians. Um, there was the Spike TV Spike, Award, right. the, the Spike Men's Choice Awards that hasn't aired yet, but Clint Eastwood made a joke about Caitlyn Jenner that is going to be deleted out of the audition that's going to air on television. If you read what he said, it was funny. It wasn't a, a oh my gosh type joke, mm -hmm. but because people are so afraid to offend, you can't say anything. Yeah. yeah, and when it comes to comedy in particular, I do think it's a problem because comedians are supposed to push the envelope and we don't need to tell them, you know, when they can and cannot. Don't underestimate the audience. They'll know when it's for the purpose of comedy or not. And when you're talking about Seinfeld, on that show, those characters offended everybody in their path and people left and now everyone's getting very sensitive yes. to yeah, a lot Chris of Chris Rock says he won't play colleges anymore. Seinfeld, I don't think he ever played a college. Or yeah, probably yeah, yeah, he just years, doesn't do that circuit. But yeah. they're definitely having trouble uh, getting some of these comedians onto campus. That's true. We uh, interviewed Artie Lang, obviously a well-known comic, for saying things that are sort of off-color at times, and he said that political correctness is the direct enemy of comedy. Miley Cyrus slammed judgmental people before going off on conservative Christians. Ashley, is Miley being as just judgmental as the people she says are judgmental? Yeah, it does sound that way when you start calling people things. I, if she just said, I love everyone, don't judge me, and ended it at that, right. that's fine. But she continued on and started to call out different groups, and that to me it looks judgmental. Yeah, she's it doing was. a really great thing. She's she's raising money to for homeless LGBT mm -hmm. kids. So that's a great thing. So she was talking about that, but then she went off and started attacking people, which seems like there was a kind of a mixed metaphor in what yeah, she was yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I it is a little bit of a full circle like I'm going to judge people for being too judgmental type thing. So she loses points in that regard. But if you see the cover of that magazine, that pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so scared. <laughs> he was that just was all shocked at what, what, what she was saying. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I found the most offensive thing that, that Miley said that Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy are a myth. What? That's not true. That's not right. That, that is not her lie. to tell us about mythical creatures. <laughs> Miley, you lost a fan. Brooklyn Nine-Nine's Chelsea Peretti and a bunch of other celebs divulged their ho childhood Hollywood crushes to The Hollywood Reporter. Peretti's crush was Fred Savage of The Wonder Years. Not a bad choice, but not the greatest. Let's go around. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. Oh, okay. Me first. Uh, the year, 1977. The show, Happy Days. The character, Leather Tuscadero. Oh, played God. by hard rocker Susie Quattro. <laughs> when I saw that leather outfit, I knew I was going to be a rock and roll And did you look down? my life. Did you look down? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was, and I'm sure many girls, women my age would agree, mm -hmm. Mario Lopez, A.C. Slater, and <laughs> Saved by the Bell. And now I do have to say, I think, and I may be the only one With that mullet? That my fiance kind of looks like him with his hands. Does your fiance have a mullet? Dream coming true, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going uh, Johnny Depp. I'm going with Johnny Depp, and I feel like enough said. Johnny Depp. Yes, I agree. Done. <laughs> all of your crushes oh. with my crush, and I've been very vocal about this. Uncle Jesse, A.K.A. John Stamos. Have mercy. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I will marry you one day. I will. That's what we think. Was that creepy? <laughs> 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 <laughs>